All right, what's good, y'all? Let's talk about Week 8 NFL Thoughts 2023. Let's get straight to it. The Bills took care of business at home versus the Buccaneers. The game was too close, way too close. But the Bills got a win. I do think they're going to lose to the Bengals. So they're a very inconsistent team. They're not a very good team. And I don't believe that they're going to uh, con truly contend for a Super Bowl. I think as far as I can remember, they've lost all their games away, which is bad. That means that they can't win on the road. So if they would go to the playoffs, you already know if they're away, they're going to lose the game no matter what. And then on top of that, they're just too high and too low. Like they get up and then they go back down. They do it too much. So I don't trust them regardless of them winning. And like I said, I think they're going to lose to the Bengals. Shout out to the Bengals for being the 49ers. I think the 49ers are going to lose to the Jaguars, so they're going to lose four games in a row, which will have me delighted, sincerely. But, yeah, Joe Burrow, he's on his A game. The wide receivers are on their A game. Joe Mixon, he's doing their thing. Shout out to the whole entire offense. The defense doing their thing, too. They rocking. So I think they're about to go on a, a little winning streak, just like the Jaguars are. Uh the what they have been and they're gonna continue when they beat the 49ers. <laughs> yes, the 49ers demise is beautiful. But anyways, shout out to the Lions for not only being the Raiders, but making the Raiders fire Josh McDaniels and the general manager on Halloween, late Halloween. That was truly a surprise and a treat for all Raiders fans. The Lions are the they're the second best team in the in the NFC overall, but I, I just don't see them being the Eagles. And they could get upset by a team like the 49ers in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see that happen. But as of right now, the Lions are the second best team in the NFC. Uh, the Seahawks, they took care of business against the Browns. I I think I did pick the Seahawks to win that game, but they surprisingly won the game. They didn't win the game the way that I thought they would win. So even though they're number one in the NFC West, I think that will eventually go away. I think the 49ers will uh, figure things out after the bye and then take care of business against the Seahawks, the Cardinals, and the Rams again. They'll they'll be 6-0 and in the division. That's, that's my belief, which will lead them to win the division and um, at least be in the playoffs. So... We'll, we'll just leave it as that. Cowboys, they beat the hell out of the Rams. I'm so pissed off that Coach McVay won't use a spread offense with the Rams. He keeps using these tight bunch formations, and it's not working whatsoever. So, yeah, the Cowboys annihilated them. <sighs> ja oh, yeah, the Jaguars, they, could, they took care of business versus the Steelers. Uh, Ravens took care of business versus the Cardinals. Trying to think what other teams. Oh, the Panthers got their first win against the Texans. I'm disappointed in the Texans. Very disappointed in the Texans. Uh, Dolphins took care of business against the Patriots. So, oh, and the Jets won. They beat the uh, Giants barely. Uh, the Chargers took care of business against the Bears. But I think the Chargers are in trouble against the Jets because they're at the Jets, I believe. If they're at the Jets, they're going to be in trouble because all the other good quarterbacks this year – that have played at the Jets Stadium have been terrible. So I think um, Justin Herbert is going to be in trouble in that game as well. I'm trying to think what else. I know there's some other games that popped up. Uh, oh, the Titans. Uh, Will Levis went crazy. Four touchdowns, three of them thanks to um, Hopkins. I think he got three, if not four. But he got majority of the touchdowns. So that's his best game of the season. And Will Levis, he had probably his best game of the season, uh, given the fact that the Steelers uh, beat the Titans today, <laughs> tonight. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I'm trying to think who else. Oh, the Broncos. They upset they upset the world, and they played a Super Bowl game against the uh, Chiefs. That was the best one they're going to have this year. They beat the – they beat the – yeah, they took the Chiefs. I'm more impressed with the defense more than anything, the fact that the defense actually showed up against the Chiefs 
uh, offense. Chiefs are in trouble offensively. I know they have Patrick Mahomes, but they, outside of Kelsey, they don't have a true passing game. They don't. They need one legit receiver, and they don't have one right now. They don't. Rasheed Rice, he's good. Well, he's solid, but I think he's a year away from actually being uh, reliable, being good. Justin Ross, he messed up some some. Uh, he got some illegal issues going on. He's an idiot. And Miko Hardman, I thought that might spark him, but that's not going to do much. So, yeah, I think offensively they will be in trouble once they get to the playoffs. They're going to make it to the playoffs, obviously, and win their division. But once they get into the actual playoffs, I think they're going to have some trouble. Right now, I think the best team in the AFC is the Baltimore Ravens. I think that's the best team. Um, I'm curious to see how the Dolphins play against the Chiefs because the Dolphins have not been, they have not beat or defeated a very good team this year thus far. All the teams they took down or beat down have been bad teams. So I'm curious to see if they can get the job done in Germany. I believe they're playing Germany against the Chiefs. I'm curious to see. Um, I expect Tyreek Hill to go crazy. I, I definitely expect him to really like, just spaz out on the Chiefs. And really show him, show them that he's him for real. We'll see. The Chiefs' defense has been excellent this year, though I must say, uh, for the most part, they've been excellent. But yeah, that's that's the most part. So, um, most impressive win of the week. That's tough. Oh, the Eagles beat the uh, Commanders. I'm trying to think. Most impressive win of the week. That's really tough. The ultimate beatdown was the Cowboys versus the Rams, but oh, the win of the week. I don't even know if I have one. Maybe the Eagles? I know it's the commanders of all teams, but that was Jalen Hurts' best game passing-wise this year thus far. And I expect them to continue that uh, this upcoming week against the Eagles since they're at um, home. Maybe that is the most impressive win. I guess. Yeah, I, I guess I'll stick with that. But um, what I was going to say, oh, if you notice all the teams in the NFL that have uh, demolished the team the previous week, they don't play well the upcoming week afterwards. Or, the you know, yeah, the week afterwards. So the Cowboys who just destroyed the Rams, I I think the Eagles game will be close, but I won't be surprised if the Eagles somehow blow them out because remember the uh cowboys dominated a couple of teams for before they went to the 49ers and they got blown out so just keep that in mind the same thing happened to the miami dolphins same thing happened to the buffalo bill so keep that in mind uh for y'all picks this week and uh yeah i'm trying to think I, yeah i'm just going to stick to the eagles and the commanders for now i can't really think of no other game that was like that exciting like that that game was so i'll just stick to that for now um yeah man let me know your thoughts below about week eight what you think is going to happen in week nine or where's your most anticipated game going to week nine let me know down below salute